All right, welcome back. So I just put up my review of day five of the TI-10 main stage where we had, even though it was a short day of Dota, we had some fantastic games. Every single one of them is worth a watch. There were only six games yesterday or today, I should say, uh, depending on when you're seeing this or what time zone you're in. But uh, yeah, definitely worth checking out. And now I'm gonna be previewing the final day uh, of the TI-10 main stage, which is ridiculous to be saying because of how quickly this past week and a half has gone. It feels like just yesterday that I just woke up at three in the morning to watch four group stage streams at a time. And now we're already down to just our last three teams and the grand finals are coming up in less than 24 hours. They, they might even be done 24 hours from now, which is insane to me. And taking a look at the schedule, we start our day at 10 a.m. local time uh, with Team Secret versus Team Spirit. This is going to be a phenomenal series. Uh, team Secret, of course, is that team that is just, uh, they focus more on, per uh, on perfection. They are just a Goliath. They have uh, a super strong team, super strong roster, super strong players, super strong strategies. They are just a clean Dota team that has been at the top of the game for years now, projected to win TI for years now. And then we have Team Spirit, the under bracket, the lower bracket underdog, who was sent there in the first round by Invictus Gaming, who they just got their revenge on today. And it does not look like any team is going to be stopping them anytime soon. I would imagine that uh, these next two opponents are going to be their toughest. Uh, Team Spirit and PSG LGD did beat them in the group stage, but they have come a long way since that group stage. They've outlasted VG Gaming, the other team who beat them in the group stage, and like I mentioned, they just knocked out Invictus, who had beat them previously in the bracket. So these guys have shown that they have grown, but I think Team Secret and PSG LGD is going to be the biggest test of just how much they've grown. Because again, those are going to be the two toughest series for them. If they manage to win against Team Secret, they then got to face against the team that beat Team Secret as well. So, yeah. Uh, taking a look now at our updated brackets, of course we had three series today like I had just mentioned. We had Invictus Gaming knocking out VG Gaming in a fantastic 2-0. Even though that was a 2-0, that's not a very clear indication of how close this series was. This could have just as easily been a 2-0 for VG or a three-game series for VG or a three-game series for Invictus. This could have gone either way. Fantastic series. Definitely recommend checking it out. And Invictus wins that and moves on to play against Team Spirit where they get 2 0 as well. And this was less of a close series, more just Team Spirit looking dominant and Yatoro having himself a day. Oh my god. I can't get enough of it watching him play. And then, of course, in the upper bracket, we also had PSG LGD 2 0 and Team Secret. Uh, very one sided game one, uh, where it was just clean perfection Dota. And then game two was just uh, PSG LGD on their heels for the most part of the game, but they wait until Team Secret makes their one fatal mistake. And that was literally all Team Secret did. They made one mistake and it cost them the entire game. Just goes to show how good PSG LGD is. So they're now waiting in the grand finals where they're going to be waiting for the winner of Team Secret versus Team Spirit. Um, yeah, and that, that does it by 24 hours from now, possibly. <laughs> We're going to have this entire bracket filled out and it's just been an incredible run. Finally, ending things off with my top fantasy picks. Um, of course, there's only three teams left, so I've got every single remaining player on the board. Uh, starting off in the first row of every slot, I have Team Secret. Being that, just looking at the stats, um, Team Secret should be the one that moves on to more, meaning that they're going to be playing the most games tomorrow. So statistically, Team Secret should be the best roster if you grab the whole roster uh, to grab for your fantasy lineup. However, uh, in the second row, we have, of course, got the second team that can also possibly play uh, more than one series, which is Team Spirit, and it's personally the one that I have locked in. I am just all aboard supporting Team Spirit. Um, so regardless of whether they win or not, I'm going to be getting points from at least one series. So we'll have to see how that goes. And then finally, in the bottom row, we have PSG LGD, who, of course, is just guaranteed to play one series. They do play three games. Um, well, they, they have three games. Uh, recorded for their fantasy points obviously and for best of fives for fantasy they only record uh, the th top three games for fantasy points per player so it doesn't matter that there's an additional two games in that series uh, at most so yeah I, again i would put secret above every other team here but i am going to be personally going for team spirit just because i'm really really pulling for them to win tomorrow because i think that would be a fantastic series and a fantastic grand finals if they make it there uh, so yeah that does it for my final preview for the GI 10 main stage it's crazy again that we've already come this far but uh yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below as always uh, i think i'm going to be doing a news video right after this one just because uh there was quite a few things announced today that i want to that i want to go over so uh please be on the lookout for that and uh yeah i'll talk to you guys later